guys, welcome back to Panda and Bumble. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bow for your rabbit. So I'm using cotton as my material because I find it really helps to hold the shape but you can use whatever one you want. I recommend don't using a stretchy one because it's just hard to sew with. Your material will need to be 40 centimeters by 11 centimeters and you're going to cut this out. Now you'll have this nice long rectangular piece of fabric. So iron this to make sure there are no creases. This bit's really important because if you're using a pattern fabric, make sure the side of your fabric that you want to show on your bow is facing upwards before you fold it into three parts. Want, you can go ahead and iron this again just because it makes it a little bit easier when you're sewing. This is the stitch that I'm going to be using because it holds the shape really well and it's really strong. So the actual sewing is really basic, you'll just be sewing along the perimeter of your rectangle. Also when you're doing this make sure to include all the layers of your bow because otherwise that will just end up wrong when you turn it inside out. So just cut off any excess thread. Now we're ready to turn it inside out just like these ones. We're going to make a small incision at the top of your rectangle. So now we're going to turn it inside out using the incision that we made. If your fingers are a little bit big then you can make the incision a little bit bigger. If you're using a patterned material make sure to check which side is which so you get it the right way around. to fully turn up all the corners just to give it a really neat and crisp look. So now you can use some fabric glue or super glue just to glue this incision back together. Let this dry for a little while. Now you're going to take some white or black elastic to blend in with your bunny's fur colour. You'll need 20 centimetres of your elastic. You can glue this or sew it together. So put your elastic aside and then you're going to get some clear ribbon under your fabric. It's a little bit tricky but you're just going to pinch it in the middle to form that bow shape. and tie it with the clear ribbon around the middle. Done that, you can cut the ribbon pieces off. You can pull it a little bit just to make sure it looks perfect. Now I'm going to be using this velvet blue ribbon to cover up the clear ribbon and to make it look pretty. Cut a small bit of ribbon that will fit around your bow. Put a blow of glue on the back of your bow to attach the elastic. Put some more glue on top of the elastic and fold the ribbon over to hold it in place. You're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So now you have finished your bow and it should look something like this and I'll show you how to put it on your bunny. So 
to put your bow on your bunny, you're going to put your fingers through the elastic, a bit like a hair tie, and then stroke their ears back and looping the elastic over their ears, and then their ears will flop over the elastic holding it in place. So many styles you can make, so just have fun making your own mini collection or just playing with different fabrics. If you really like the ones that I make that are sewn, I do sell them on my Instagram Panda and Bumble shop, which will be in the bio of the bunny's account Panda and Bumble. So just some disclaimers, make sure your bunny does not wear the bow for long durations of time and that you don't leave them unattended with the bow.